Ave Maria Prisma, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, we just told the story of St. Lucia in some detail on Sunday, great virgin martyr of Syracuse in Sicily, who uh, is delayed by her would-be uh, fiancé, delayed to the authorities during the persecution of Diocletian, and uh, during the course of, of the judgment, the judge got furious at her, and decided to send her to Lupinaria, which is a, a house of ill repute. That was not an unusual sentence for, uh, for Catholic girls to get these kind of sentences. There's several uh, very edifying stories in the Roman Martyrology. I don't remember the name. I'll just give what I remember of, of the detail. I don't remember the dates, but there's at least two of these in the Roman Martyrology. One girl was sentenced to that, and it was like the first hundred guys were going to be free. And one of these Catholic guys runs to be the first one in line. Where she going, what is that all about? And when he gets in the room, he says, you turn around that corner, I'll turn around this corner, and you give me your clothes. So they undress and throw each other the clothes, and he puts on her clothes, and she takes off and gets out of there. And the next guy comes in there and says, you're a guy, what are you doing here? They then up both getting martyred, but he got marred to preserve her virginity, to protect her from this horrible fate. And there are a number of instances of that in the Roman martyrology, but this was not an uncommon thing for the pagans to do to our girls. And so the miracles associated with St. Lucy are even more remarkable when we have that as a background, because they know what they're going to do to her, and all of a sudden they can't even move her, this little girl. And I, I think they're hitching up yoke of oxen to and they're trying to, nothing can move her. And at that point, then they pile up the fire. He has, well, burn her to death then. And the fire blows away from her. And, uh, and so then they pop out her eyes and torture her because he can't move her and finally run her, run her through with a sword and a throat. And then she kneels down. She predicts that the persecution's going to end and then she kneels down and dies. But what an impression that made on the people. You think about that. What an impression that this girl is willing to suffer all those things rather than violate her purity. It's such an example. We need to recapture these examples because we have the inverse in our crazy society right now where purity is something to be thrown away. And we celebrate impurity. Pray to St. Lucy. Pray to her. Pray to her. Ask her to see the virtue of being willing to suffer and even die for Christ, for any one of the teachings that Christ has given us. Ask for that grace. Ask for the grace to see purity in the light that she sought, in the light that Christ sees it, and that those around us will also get that grace.